Hey guys, it's definitely been um, a little bit of a minute. Um, there have been so many um, moving parts to my life um, since we moved to Kentucky. And um, I will say, I definitely feel like that I'm living the dream on so many levels. Um, I have really been so inspired by just this life here there is so much beauty there is so much greenery everywhere there is just so much peacefulness here and i am just i feel like i have been um just soaking up this life on a whole nother level i feel like um you know god has been just doing this beautiful amazing work within my heart within my life i feel like he's been working on um just helping me as a mom to and as a person individual to just um kind of reorder the way that i think about things um he's been working on my belief system like I feel like sometimes like as we're growing through life, we have one belief system and then that system kind of changes where we believe life should look like a specific picture and then that picture changes or we have certain habits because of certain belief systems. And, and so I feel like God has really been working um, with me from the inside out. I feel like this has been the first um, first time in my life where I'm away from home I'm away from my comfort zones. I'm away from everybody that I know, um, which is so funny because I was laughing about this and just having a chuckle with my husband about the fact that I thought I'm going to move all the way to Kentucky just thinking like, oh, I'm going to be a little closer to family. But then now that I'm here, I realize like everyone's like so spread out. We're not really next door neighbors. We're not, we're not all super close. Um, and I really didn't grow up with my dad's side or with my mom's side. So really it's like reality is that when you didn't really grow up with someone or you don't really know them, you just kind of have the awareness that they're near you or they're nearby or they're in another state that's nearby, but there's not ever been like, um, that long life, um, relationship connection building it's it's more like i knew of these people i knew their existence um but really i feel like the lord allowed me to kind of have this like oh that would be interesting like being closer to you know both my dad's side and my mom's side but then getting here it was kind of this really interesting realization that like oh no actually i'm going to be having a deeper walk with God, a deeper relationship with the Lord. Um, I met so many amazing people at the mission church that I absolutely love. I still have really good friendships with those people today. And to my surprise, moving from San Diego all the way to the middle of nowhere was like the shock of my life. Um, I did not see myself settling in to Rio Vista, like whatsoever. I was like, um, I, I did not see myself going to church. I did not see myself making new friends. I was just like comfortable to like live with my in-laws. And then after that, just leave and do the next thing that we were supposed to do. And then lo and behold, I have this like push from the Lord to like, get into church, like go, go do that, go do that thing. And it was like, ugh, like I reluctantly went. Um, but then once I got there, I thought, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to like sit. I'm going to sit in these chairs and I'm not moving. Like I'm not going to make eye contact with nobody. I don't want to meet nobody. I don't want to know anybody. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like, I got here and I attended church, but I had to come to Jesus, uh, come to Jesus moment where the Lord really, he really just, um, he really had me have this moment with him. Like, you know what, when you're a child of God, 
when you carry the spirit of the Lord within you, you don't sit this life out. Like get out there, like meet people, like get to know their story, not just your own boohoo story of like, oh my gosh, I'm not by the ocean anymore. I can't believe that I don't get to go walking around Coronado every day. Like it was just like, get over yourself. Like just start talking to people, like learn about people, like know who they are, know their stories. And so I reluctantly was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to like meet people. I'm going to say hi and then hopefully they'll forget me and I'm going to leave and we'll just move on. But little did I know that a lot of the people, many of the people that I did meet, I really did come to truly appreciate and truly treasure in my heart as just beautiful um, brothers and sisters in the Lord. And they just ministered to my spirit and, um, And I feel like we just had this amazing, um, just sharing and, um, caring for one another and God and praying for one another. Like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, I was so sad to leave all of my beautiful brothers and sisters in the Lord after we had come to discover that God was moving us all the way over here. Um, and I was just recently listening to Rachel Garcia, which was several months ago. And I was like, oh my goodness, I, I want to do like a vlog, um, a follow-up on this vlog that she had done. And she was talking about, you know, how God has called us to be influencers for the Lord and to be not just, you know, children of God that just sit on the sidelines, but to begin recognizing like, what is it that, you know, God has put deep down the inside of who you are. And so that at first, like I saw the title and I was like, okay, I, I know I need to watch that. I mean, I would like to watch it, but I'm so, I'm so busy and it is so hard for me to take moments out of my day to be like, let me sit and watch something that I literally have one more thing to do. And so one Saturday afternoon, I'm taking the time to listen to this devotional that she had done. And I'm I'm folding laundry and I'm like, okay, look, I'm just going to fold my laundry. I'm going to listen to what she's saying. And it really, like, it really inspired me because, well, for one, she's a very inspirational woman and she's an amazing woman of God. And she just has this amazing way of blessing other women and encouraging them and like, literally helping um, women from all over this nation to um, just dig in deep and to really seek the Lord and to, and to discover like, like, who are you really? Like who, who is the person that God has made you to be from the inside out? And so I felt like that was such a, I felt like her message was so Like she made me think about things. I was taking notes. I was like, okay, this has a lot to do with, with things that I need to sort out in my own life. You know, now that I'm away from friends and family and influences and environments and comfort zones. And I mean, I had even come to like, to truly just love and appreciate my in-laws. Like for a second there, it was like, we were just a little bit clashing around because we are just two very different people and we have several different ways of doing things. And so we had to figure out how to really come together and love each other. And so after the movie, it was like, oh my gosh, like I miss them. Like this is really hard for me. So I still keep in connection with my in-laws today. And I have to tell you that there was such a beautiful sister in the Lord who just really, um, mentored me through that season. That was really, really hard. And she had said to me, you know, when it comes to your mother-in-law, make her your mother in love. And I will tell you like to this day, I, I love my mother-in-law. Like I just am like your mom to me. Like, thank you God so much that you gave me a mother-in-law who in that season of my life, I was coming from one background into another background and I had a certain way my parents had raised me and now she had a whole different way of doing things. And it was like, well, you're not my mom. Like you can't, you can't 
I have the way I do things. And so, but um, looking back, oh my gosh, it was such a beautiful story the way that God, like uh, the way he created it to be. Because now, like, I thank her for things that she taught me. I thank her so much for her motherhood. I thank her for things that I'm like, man, like you, you influenced me. You, you stretched me. Woo, I could, I could boohoo right now. I'm like, gonna try not to. Ugh, okay. <laughs> yes, oh man, her motherhood was so beautiful even though there were difficult times, like difficult places, but she made a huge difference in my life. And so going back to what um, Rachel Garcia had said, she talked about being a woman of influence and, and how do we become that? And so I was really in prayer over that. I feel like my kids are going to walk in any minute. I'm going to like hold it together here. <laughs> um, gosh, I could, I could cry with my mother-in-law because of the love that I have for her, the endearment that I hold for her. And so, gosh, like, as I was like going through what Rachel Garcia was talking about of like, Daddy. you're not, you're not, hold on. Okay. I'm back. Whew, okay. I'm sorry guys. Oh, that was such a powerful moment. <laughs> um, when I thought about what Rachel Garcia had talked about in, in, in her devotional about you're not a cookie cut out, you're not like the same exact cookie cutter. Like you're not the same like everybody else. You know, God didn't just cut out all these same pieces. Like you are your own piece. You are your own person. That was so huge because I have gone from one mindset of like, okay, I'm in caregiving mode when I was taking care of my grandparents. And that was a huge chunk of my life. Um, and that was the self that I was. That's who I was in. It was like, okay, I'm a caregiver and I'm helping my mom and I am here to support her and to be a part of this journey with her. And then to move and be like, okay, I'm now in a whole new zone. Now who am I? Like, I didn't, I did not see myself as like, oh, I'm their daughter. It was like, no, I've been taken from my family in a sense and put in a new environment. And it's like, I don't really want to be called daughter and I don't want to be a daughter because I want to be their daughter, not somebody else's daughter, but because I married my husband and that was not a part of my plan to then go be a part of another family. So God was rearranging all of these pieces and putting stuff together and like molding and shaping me into these very difficult and intricate places. And so now here I am and it's like even becoming a mom again with Joshua, it was like, I didn't feel like a mom. I just felt like I'm just this like girl, woman, you know, I've just like given birth to like another baby and it's like, I don't really feel like I am equipped for this job. Like I'm still trying to figure out where I fit in within who God has called me to be. 